Today on Active Self-Protection, we get to see Babushka use the old mop defense. Welcome to today's Active Self-Protection lesson. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from the northern part of Poland. Henry Holsters is one of the few holster makers I trust to make a quality appendix carry holster that meets all the requirements of a holster. Check them out at a link in the description. Outside camera here shows us an armed robber with a gun in hand when he walks up, walk in and open the door to this uh, little store, this convenience store, gun up, starts threatening the woman who we can't see off camera, we can't see her yet, but she comes out mop a swinging and man, that mop is all full of nasty and all that. Dude's just gonna grab a couple packs of cigarettes and run off down the road with his cigarettes and she's gonna follow him out there with the mop and try to give him another whack, but he's long gone and that's where this one ends. I gotta admit, I loved it when she whacked him on the face with that nasty old mop. One of the best ways you can get better as a self-defender is joining us for three days of training at the Active Self-Protection National Conference. There's a link in the description that has all the information for you to come and join us. It's a complete fundraiser for the Flint Hills Foster Teen Camp. It'll be later in the fall, September 25th, 26th, and 27th. So we're over all this craziness from the virus. Come and train with us. I promise you it will be a fantastic time. So of course, one of the things that I wanna talk about here is how robbers use transitional spaces. Notice the guy comes up here with gun in hand already. It's nighttime, he's expecting nobody to be able to see him, but he uses this, you know, the fact that she can't see outside at all. Now, I don't know that she'd been able to see anyways because she's mopping and all that stuff. But notice the window here. Everything is, you know, it's all, uh, you know, got a bunch of stuff over the top of it. So that may as well be a wall. If you can, leave those windows open so you can see what's going on outside the store. The more you can see, that gives you attention. Attention buys you time, time buys you options, right? So I get it, you gotta advertise in those things. Now, dude comes in, gun up. And I do have to absolutely say that attacking somebody with a mop who has a gun on you is a, a tactically bad idea. Her attitude is fantastic. However, this is not the best idea because if that guy was willing to use that gun, she would have been dead. So just by the grace of God that she wasn't harmed in this particular instance, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Now that said, a strong attitude wins the day more times than not. Most times the bad guys are using the guns as an intimidation tool. I still would not recommend that you do this because I don't want you to test whether or not he's really willing to use it. Now she comes out, attitude to go and swing in that mop. And I think that's hilarious that she sprays all over him, whacks at him again, and she's gonna hit him another time with that mop. Now again, notice he's just after stuff. So he's gonna go in here and grab some cigarettes or whatever. And so I don't even know if that gun was real, but the, the reality is she is at risk here, okay? So I would recommend instead, hey, give the guy what he wants unless you have a means of overwhelming force. If she had a firearm on her person, totally different story. Last thing, of course, you're gonna hear me say this all the time on the channel, don't chase fleeing threats. Now, in this particular instance, again, no harm, no foul. He has just run off with his couple packs of cigarettes or whatever, but, recognize that in these instances, he could get pissed off at that. He could say, you know what? No, I am absolutely gonna come back and, and beat that woman up for hitting me with the dirty mop water or whatever. He could have accomplices out there that didn't know what was going on. So I don't recommend chasing fleeing threats. Let them go and instead lock the door and then get on the phone with the cops. So kind of humorous in this one and I do think that attitude alone won the day. But let's make sure that we back up that attitude with skills and a good plan to cover our ASP.